views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. When my girl's got the sweetest pussy. Welcome to CincyBounty.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic Cincinnati Bounty right there. There you go. Where we open the show with the shouting of the word pussy. Pussy. Are you done with this? All right. Yes, I'm done. So, no guests today, Woo. but that also means no cookies today. And the Twizzlers in the house are hard as rocks. These are, are so Twizzlers. hard. Or whatever. Red Vines, Twizzlers. Uh, licorice. All the better to suck on. <laughs> That's true. You could suck on it instead. I, it doesn't like no. It doesn't work for food. It works for other things. But food, <laughs> I'm like, I'm totally a tootsie <laughs> pop like eater chewer. You I don't know how many like it. No, no, you no. You can't suck on food. No, uh, uh-uh. like I bite it. You know, if you suck on food more, you might not have the inclination to suck on other things more. Use well, I have I have an oral fixation, which is why you always see me chewing gum and sucking dick. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a medical condition. What can I say? I will suck the innards out of a burrito. I mean, that's where I get all my sucking done. You know what really? I like to do? You know those big, fat, juicy dill pickles? The big ones are almost like a hand and a half pickle. I like to bite the top off of it and suck the seeds right out of it. <laughs> Just you know, I almost took them out to its. <laughs> Do you consider that practice? (laughs) Yeah, especially since I sometimes use my tongue to get in there and really get it out. I can't. Who the fuck has time for that? Like, just give me the pickle. You would chew that motherfucker up. I would chew that motherfucker. There's no sucking involved. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I savor my pickle. (laughs) I'm not savoring shit. Like that pickle is going down. (laughs) That's right. As soon as your dick out, she's just. I I got nothing to say. I have no defense right this moment. I have beef jerky mm-hmm. in my teeth. All right. So what's going on, ladies? Want to catch us up with your love life, your dating escapades, your yeah, so, foray uh, into the dating world? If you thought I had been on another first date since the last time we talked, you'd be wrong. Um, I have been semi-sort of seeing this couple for, God, it's... Been yes, like tell us all about six that. Or seven months now, I guess. Uh, we haven't really like finalized or made anything like official, and it's poly, so I mean, it doesn't mean I have to stop dating other people. Although I might, just because. Well, not just that this one's convenient, but I also really like them both, and I don't. We haven't had the DTR relation, the DTR talk just yet. What's DTR? Define the relationship. We haven't really had that discussion yet. Can I ask a couple of questions before you go into what's going on? Um, don't you treat uh, joining a poly relationship just like you would treat a regular relationship mm-hmm. where you get to know the people first? Yeah, well, I've known them for a couple of years. We've been friends for like two or three years now. Yeah, but not in such close. No, we are definitely like learning to be. So <clears throat> we also all come from the same sort of kink background. We all have very similar kink interests, and that's what I'm going to go into a little bit later. Um, so this weekend was the first weekend I was ever fully nude before them. There was no sex, but we at least two out of three of us were fully naked. I'm sorry, if I'm getting naked, there's going to be sex. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm like, if I'm going through the effort to get I basically it got a back rub and acupuncture done this weekend, so I'm not fucking complaining. So, wait, how did that actu- acupuncture go for you, though? Well, she's going to get into that, right? <laughs> you saw the pictures. No, no, but I'm talking after, after. Oh, that was from helping friends move Friday night. Okay. Yeah, I spent. Uh, I thought Ryan, maybe you right? hit a nerve or something. Mm-hmm. That was our buddy Ryan and his. Uh, yeah, and his girl Jamie. I did. I helped them move this weekend. That was a last minute. Like I was just rolling out of my parking lot at work, and I got the bing. Anyway, we can use you and your magnificent van this weekend. And I was like, well, you can use me right now for about two hours, and then I have a meeting, and then you can use me after that. But then Saturday, I am booked. Solid. I have booked the day for me 
to do shit for me. And for all of you on Facebook or on YouTube who are thinking that you can call Sierra at any time and use her van to move, no. No, I gotta really like your ass. I mean, unless you're me, because I've done it. Well, we planned that. <laughs> That's true. That's uh, true. The last minute move stuff really only happens with people I super duper like. If I don't super duper like you, I have other things to do. Yeah, and even moving you, I've really gotta like you a lot. So, anywho, um, so Saturday, I had already planned. It was the first Saturday in a long time I haven't had. A bunch of other shit planned. Nothing in the evening. Nothing during the day. And uh, we used to have like a weekly thing where I would go over and we'd hang out and we'd watch TV or movies or whatever. So we just figured, hey, come over noonish. There's uh, this like kink social get together thing happening. We can go to that in the evening after, you know, we have lunch and hang out. <clears throat> and then um, the dominant in the group was like well you know i'm pretty confident with needles now do you still are you still interested in doing needles and i said yes let's yes. shiver together i am so I'm still it's burned in my um, brain let me, for oh, life my phone. so if you um google like needle corset or um needle work well no not needle work you'll get like point get like cross stitch shit but like a needle corset or something you'll see pictures where they take syringe needles sterilized brand new not reused right out of the package and they can make they insert them just under your skin sort of like you know when you were in like junior high and you used to pierce the skin of your finger and no <laughs> no well, i've been sewing I've done my that. i've done that i've been sewing myself up since junior high i'm <laughs> like I would like thread. Oh, I, no, I would do my fingers, but I wouldn't go. I wouldn't do my arm or anything. Oh, yeah. I've done it all the way up my arm. I've mm -mm. actually sewn string into mm -mm. myself. Mm -mm. And it was pretty cool. Mm -mm. So anyway, he did this thing down my back called a corset. It was just a half back. It was just the top half. It wasn't the bottom half. Like eight needles total. Uh, eight, I think ten, it was like needles. six on each side. Was it that many? I hmm. think so. It was either five or six on each side. You've got pictures. I know, but I'm... I sent pictures to everybody. I'm monitoring I mean, chat. You should have seen my ass. As soon as I got the pictures of them, I was like, take this picture on my phone. There was like 15 people I sent that fucking picture to. I was like, look what <laughs> I did. nice. Now we got that shit on a group. <laughs> Tax, I thought it was individual. Like, I thought she's like, I felt so good about this. I really just want to show my closest friends. But apparently no. it's your closest 503 friends. <laughs> it's like, No, it was like, let me, okay, let me count on my hands. So it was you two. Another person in the Is key? it on your Fat Life profile? It is. <laughs> this is this is this the first time you've ever had this done to you? Yes. This is why. So I'm I'm more forgiving. Yeah. Right. It's the very first time. Very I've, first I time. Have How long after you sent it to us did you send it to the five hundred and one other people and put it on your profile? I mean, at least three of them it was later in the day because I knew they were busy. <laughs> and I also was debating on whether or not I'd send it to mm -hmm, them, but then mm -hmm, I decided mm -hmm. I would. Mm -hmm. okay. I sent it to a couple of our friends that we knew would be totally cool and into seeing needles in my skin. A couple of other kink fuckers that I know. She thinks I'm okay with seeing needles in her skin. But you guys are my best friends. You have to see it first. <laughs> Just so you know, you guys saw it first. <laughs> You guys saw it first seven. before anyone else. We were else. seventh and eighth. <laughs> anyway, uh, we started out with two crosses on my boobs. Oh, oh yeah. Um, little needles first and then bigger needles on this side to see how I could handle it. And uh, so when we went to the back, I was like, let's start with the little needles. Because it is painful. It's not without pain. But the pain dissipates rather quickly for me. All except for the very last one on my right side. Like, he must have hit a nerve because that bitch hurt for a while. A while. Couldn't put, like, a, what's that, a Neosporin on it that has the pain reliever? I mean, I'm it? sure you could, but what's the point? <laughs> I'm in it for the pain. And then, and then he wrapped string like a corset. Yeah, he lit ribbon. Uh, alcohol, like he sanitized, everything was sanitized. I, my back got sanitized beforehand. He wore gloves the whole time. The ribbon before he wove it was soaking in alcohol the whole time he was piercing me. So it was f everything was fully sanitized. <laughs> Although I'll tell you, you can totally feel the alcohol on that ribbon oh, yeah. when he first puts it on. And, did and he, it's like, whoop, did whoop. he tie it like a corset? Like, did he pull it, cinch it? Not tight. No? I mean, he, there was definitely, when I was laying down, it was 
firm but not tight and then when I sat up because you know then all your back fat squishes together you had to tighten it up for the pictures where I was sitting up and uh, <laughs> keep going keep going and uh, we're dealing we're so dealing that was with a it. little tight and then I had to learn how to move with it in because I sat there for a while with it in and it was kind of cool because I'd be like I'd move this way and I could feel everything pull and I'd move this way and it would all pull and then I could do this and I felt it all just like rippling around in you there. You are a kinky motherfucker. I am a kinky motherfucker. Do you plan on doing it again? Did you enjoy yes. it that much? Oh uh, yeah, that's happening again. <laughs> yeah, my goal is to eventually because it was just two straight lines and down the medius part of your back, which has the least amount of nerves in it. My goal is to do a full v from the tops of my shoulders all the way down my back to where there's a single one that crosses across that ridge over my spine and then lace it all the way down i and want maybe pictures. put a little bit of tension on it i want pictures there will be pictures there will i want to hang fairy wings from this shit like <laughs> well i wouldn't go that far <laughs> although i mean i have seen where there's piercings here and piercings here to support something like that mm -hmm, and i mm -hmm, can do mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay okay <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. honest to god idea. this is great i like that so everyone I'm, who I'm is this. opposed to this honestly it's no worse than getting a tattoo mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how many tattoos do you have it's multiple one. punctures i don't even have one <laughs> it's multiple Your tattoos punctures. hurt me <laughs> one multiple punctures with very thin needles some people do do big ass needle gauges and i don't think i'd ever do that did did this play on saturday because and that was she, she she sent us a picture and that was in motherfucking daylight it wasn't even nighttime play. it was not even nighttime it was play. daytime play it was for fun by yeah. choice yeah and no sex <laughs> and, no, and sex. no sex and no sex um did that Wait, not even after that no <laughs> no we watched um we watched Castle Rock after that. Wow, we that's amazing. Like that sounds like fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny can't drink anything right now. He's going to snort it out his nose. Did this play uh, help in the getting to know you that now you're a little bit more serious about becoming a part of their couple? Yeah. I would say that prob this probably because I spent the rest of the evening thinking about it and, you know, up till today, considering it. Um, yeah, I think that really led to me more seriously considering defining the relationship with him. Right now, it's just friends who do kinky shit together sometimes. We haven't even, we, none of us have had sex with each other yet. I mean, aside from some titty well, fondling. they've had sex together. Well, yeah, they've had sex yeah. together. Aside from titty fondling and some making out, there really hasn't been any sort of sexual intercourse between us yet. So not even I sexual. don't even know who they are, but I've probably already had sex with them. You've, I mean, them. come on. You've You've not even them. sexual foreplay? Mm -hmm. Except for titty squeezing? More than the tw titty squeezing? Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Mm. How do you get relaxed. from titty squeezing to can you sew up my back? It's the and not <laughs> even put fairy wings on it's it. I don't kink, get it. It's the kink thing. It's, yeah. I know. This, I is, know. Why, it's not about this is why I couldn't go 100% into the kink world because a lot of people who are into that are into it just for the kink part of it. I have to have sex. There, if you're going to slap my some, ass. Some of my kinks lead to sex. Some of my kinks don't. All kinks with me have to lead to if sex. If you're here, my <laughs> rule, if you're going to tie my back up with fucking needles and rope, I better get slapped Well, after. that's never happening <laughs> to me. Um, Lisa, Lisa. I was just going to ask that. Okay, go ahead. If, no, no, go on. Lisa wants to know, was liquid courage needed? No. Uh, actually, you should not have... When you are doing needle play, you as the person being punctured should not be drunk or have alcohol in your system because it thins your blood and it can um, it can cause a lot of problems. So no. That's was, definitely out. We didn't drink until afterwards. Whew. Lisa says uh, she loves your hair down, by the way. Thank you. Um, Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Lisa also said, who knew this show was educational? That That's one this of our... This show is educational. That's one of the things that we want to do is educate you in the world, in the sexual realm, in the dating realm. Believe the... it or not, our goal on this show is to teach you shit. Yeah. Lisa says, I love my piercings, but I don't know. I'm still deep breathing. <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I'm not going to tell you guys that this was a breeze whatsoever, especially those last, like, three. Uh one, two on one side and one on the other they because the farther down you go also the more nerves you encounter it hurt but i'm okay with that 
I, I, this is how I explained it. I am not a pain slut, but I am a pain enthusiast. What other, did he tempt you <laughs> with other things, other kinds of kink play? Are there other things that he does besides the needle thing now? He, and, you, yeah. you said that he was, he's getting really good at his needle thing. So he's still kind of a beginner? With the needles, yes. Yes. But everything else he's very experienced in. So what other things can you expect from this couple? Impact play. What's impact play? Where they beat the shit out of you. <laughs> You've seen impact play on me before. I've done I, a public... I've done impact play on you before. Yeah. <laughs> So impact play. Um, That's just spanking and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Spanking and stuff, and stuff. <laughs> uh, What's the end stuff? Well, uh, spanking is usually just with your hand or with a paddle. But I also enjoy um, cats, uh, cat tails, whips. I like cats too. Thump, no, 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 no. Uh, they're no, like multiple they stranded. I she knows. I know. Yeah. I, I know. Um, Paddles. I look really. I'm. She prefer lo- thumpy things. So the bigger and thumpier it is, the heavier it is. The like I like. It. She also doesn't like it if you do it and it doesn't leave a mark. Have you ever seen anyone leave a mark on me? No. I'm sort of afraid of how hard someone has to hit me to leave a mark because she's seen a couple of public demonstrations that I've done where my ass is pink for about 15 minutes afterwards. One of them was so intense. A couple of people had to leave the room. A couple of people at a kink joint. Had to leave the room because it was rather intense. But I've never been caned, so I don't know how that would work. I was supposed to be caned, but I never got caned. I know I'm getting caned now. So this the Dom in the group in the couple mm-hmm. is going to give you all the things. He's going to cane you. He's going to impact play if I with ask you. For it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do works. you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to ask for it? Yeah, I have to ask for it. Like, I mean, do you have to like? Ask. So you have well, to. <laughs> we haven't negotiated terms yet about some things. We've negotiated a couple of small things, but nothing like that right. yet. But do you have to ask, like, so when it comes down to it, will it be like, hey, Bob, can you beat my ass? Or will, will there be certain terms well, yeah. that you choose like, to? Like, it depends. Let, let's, let's, it depends so on the dynamic the movies, we decide to build. In the movies. <laughs> You those have to, movies. You have to get except, on. For, except for Secretary. Or, Watch or, it sorry, many times. In those, in those cheap-ass dime poor mm-hmm. novels. The girl has to get on her knees, wearing her stiletto heels with her hair in a certain way, and the lipstick and all that, and she has to crawl over on all fours. We read the same erotica. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I ask. If, if we negotiated the scene that way, yes. But I'm not into degradation or humiliation, and so begging usually isn't kind of my thing. What is it with those books and the degradation and humiliation? I don't know. I don't, people are like, slap my face and call me slut. And I'm like, bitch, you slap my face and call me slut, I'm going to punch you with but a some stick. some people are just as into that as you are into That's your, true. like, That's tie true. Yeah, my back. No, I am not kink shaming. If you want to get slapped in the face and be called a slut, I 100% support you. As a matter of fact, I know I could do that to you, but not have it done to me. It's not my kink. Degradation, humiliation, begging, not really my kink. I'm not really Yeah, I don't that. mind it. No, no, no. Just don't pull like the real to, world into mine. No, I like to set everything down. Yeah, I also don't, like, some stuff crosses over, but not a lot of it. Like, for instance, um, I might wear a needle corset out in public under a shirt. You know what I'm saying? Or if we were going to go to a Can kink event. Can I ask you event, a favor? What? Never do that? Can we... Can you give me a heads up? Yeah. Just so I'm not like, hey, buddy. Oh, that would actually be kind of cool. <laughs> You're turning her on. I, Stop I, it. I know. The back of my I neck know. is tingling in my ears. Are all I, would, up. I would then <laughs> vomit. So then our night's ruined. Like, you're turned on. I smell like puke. It's not going to work out. <laughs> Some people are into that. Uh, so I... I like to negotiate all of my scenes first, discuss them with whoever I'm partnering with, what's going to happen, how's it going to go. I like to be able to just say, okay, and go, and then that's it. Like, I don't want to negotiate as we go. Like, it'll be like, okay, these are the instruments I'd like to be used. Use them in whatever fashion you want. You know, are we going to use the stoplight system, or is it just a hard stop with a safe word? Like, I like to negotiate all that ahead of time. How far can that extend? Like, I'm just wondering now, can you, do you corset your butt? Like, you can. 
Do I've actually do seen titty corsets, and I might do one of those. <gasps> no, no, <laughs> yours are too big. Like, they no, are rather big. No, no, no. But I don't have you a lot tie, of feeling. You well, tie those together. Right <laughs> you tie those together, and then let go. No, no, no. I wouldn't do that. Like the needles would probably be like this, and I would just drape the. I'm hugging my breasts. Oh like, my god! I would. Would there be tension? Would you be like no. this, and then all of a sudden, no, like they're all tied skin, up, and you're like, boom! No, she here. would tear it. I yeah. know. No, it's very thin up here. I would not do that. It okay. would. I would do it in a complete relaxed manner, or I'd have a low, really low cut bra, and I would have it all tied in together. But I wouldn't have it cinched tight. Like it wouldn't be serving the purpose of a bra. No. <laughs> It would be for aesthetic purposes only. I do that with rope. You tie your boobs? I like, well, I've had it done with rope. I like it when it's done with rope. Yeah, rigging, rigging is another thing um, that this Dom I, is not really experienced with, but he knows someone who is, and someone who is specifically experienced with rigging BBWs, and I want to be rigged. Rigging like, is rope? No, nah, rigging is rope where you're tied and dangling from something. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I that's that's gonna happen soon. Just so y'all know. That's because you're small fat. You're going to get <laughs> small when fat. You're, you're fat, fat. <laughs> there is no chance that's happening. There no. is no chance. The girl. Okay, so at this kink social event, I overheard a girl who was quite a bit bigger than me talking about one of the other guys who had rigged her from a setup, and I was like, oh, and I turned to the dom, and I was like. Did I just hear her say that she got rigged, like dangled from a ceiling rig? And he was like, yeah. I was like, you know someone who can rig a BBW? He goes, that guy right there. And I was like, we're going to need I, to talk to that man. <laughs> I wanted to do an aerial yoga class where they have the, you know, the sheet, the hammock sheet thing that hangs. And I was so paranoid that, you know, despite the fact that they assured me, you know, it, it would hold. I was just so paranoid that I'd be in there and it wouldn't. Like the fabric but I'm would not, rip or it would or come out of the ceiling? Or however it's connected or? would come down because I'm just, for me, for my size, I'm not meant to fucking fly in air and dangle in air. Like there's a thing like called gravity and it likes my fat ass solid. <laughs> like that's why I can't roller skate. It puts me <laughs> <laughs> it's like no stop trying to fuck with science and like get your ass on the ground that's why i'm always falling um so i can't there's no scenario where that feels like so my anxiety know, wouldn't choke me to death if i am able to negotiate this into being semi-public you guys will be invited to my rigging <laughs> I'm going to be underneath trying to catch you. Like. <laughs> Stop swaying. <laughs> oh, God. Why are you hanging by your titties? Come on. How is this fun? Yeah. I'm going to be throwing pillows underneath. I'm going to lay down flat so my ass cushions your fall. Yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a, these, these two are very supportive, especially of my, some of my, well, the, these are actually fairly normal, vanilla-ish kinks, needles and rope. Not according to our audience in Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually right. talking to another friend of mine about kink, and apparently choking and being tied to the bed is just not kinky enough anymore. Like, that's vanilla now. Right. No, that got, like, de-kinked. Yeah, by. that's totally that, That's what the vanilla novel, like, that's what yeah. the um, Fifty Shades of Grey did. Like, that normalized all of that. So now... You have to take it one step further. That's what I said. You gotta like go hang into, like the deep, hanging dark from the ceiling by your titties. Like that's what you gotta do now. Yeah, you can't just be like, I like to be choked and fucked. Like that's not kinky anymore. That's Tuesday you're like, night. Like that's my hello. What? Yeah. It's like where do you go from there? And that all depends on who you're dating, though. If True. um, if you're when I was with someone, they they conceded to at least curse or talk dirty to me during mm -hmm. sex which is great. But otherwise, it was completely vanilla, which was perfectly fine. And uh, that's why I moved out of the kink lifestyle because he was not kinky at all. So, so did you move back depends. into the kink lifestyle if you found someone you were comfortable I have, with? I have definitive rules. Yeah, everyone so does. It would I be, think you're there supposed has to. to be, like there has to be sex. To. There has to be sex. And you def definitely cannot bring the real world into the room. And you can't bring the kink out into the real world with no. me most of the time. Like, I don't, like, I saw a guy for, like, two and a half seconds because we went grocery shopping once. And he was, like, he's 
tried to degrade me in public and I was like that's not really how this works nope right not for me anyway maybe other bitches like go find it there are lots of degradees out there lots of them girls totally into being it degraded day and night inside upside downside whatever the fuck way yeah like don't 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 bring your at home stuff out like do i love to watch you jerk off in the corner of course inside i don't want you to do it do i want you to do it at the ballpark not necessarily now that that's totally different Mm -hmm. from someone coming up into your ear while you're out in public and maybe whispering something like I'm gonna fuck the shit out of your dirty little cunt later and I'm gonna be like mm, yeah you are <laughs> <laughs> like yeah let's do this is this a person you know <laughs> or is this, are we talking like anyone comes up and they're I mean like, at this point really <laughs> <laughs> you totally just had a Robert De Niro facial expression <laughs> Or Christian Slater. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But Christian Slater looks like everyone, so. Forrest Whitaker. No. <laughs> like, I can do that we, because she turned her we, head and she's holding her hand up. We like, have yeah. already established that that is not to be done. Just so you know, the reason I can do Forrest Whitaker so well is one of my eyes does actually droop significantly more than the other. Most people don't notice it, but if you look at me head on. No. Yeah, I have one eye that droops significantly. I have a special message for someone here in the room from Bree. It says, I'm all for dirty talk during sex. Sometimes I can't believe the crap I say. You ain't whistling Dixie, sister, because I say some shit. <laughs> Play with me, Daddy. That was a secret message for someone in the room. Should I write that down? <laughs> uh, Bree says, for me, it, if it hurts, it's not for me. The party is over real fast. I am done. Abby says, LMA, LMAO, I am with you, Toxie. Uh, Fernie is still breathing deep. <laughs> still <laughs> breathing deep. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it really depends on me. The pain has to be negotiated. It can't be brought, like, I have to n- know that pain might be involved. I said I'm an enthusiast. I'm not a slut for it. So most of the time, if I'm looking for pain to be inflicted, I'm not looking for sex afterwards. Um, just so you guys know, I, I've been in... Um, you call them negotiation negotiations mm-hmm. or talks. They're not like you, you're all in business suits sitting at a table. Yeah. Well, some. What's I mean, I happen. think you've contracted <laughs> out before, right? I, oh yeah, contracted. I, it, no, I mean, my last my last relationship was contracted. Yeah, there was a contract. Involved. Yeah, but it wasn't. You you guys weren't sitting across from each other at a table drinking coffee. Well, maybe the dining room table, but it was still casual. You were probably in your PJs when you were talking about it, right? Uh, and a lot or of something? it was back and forth through email yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's it's not like like a business thing. <laughs> no, it can but be. It it it's when you live this kind of lifestyle, it helps number one to establish consent rules. Like, what am I consenting to? What am I not consenting to? And it also allows you a fallback. So, like, if you say I don't want to do that. Uh, or I never consented to that, but it you did in your contract, uh, then you you can't get too mad at them because, you know, you did consent to do that. Now but a- you can change. You should never have a contract that is unchangeable, ever, ever, ever. You should never have a negotiation that isn't negotiable, ever, ever. I- like, let's say if we had started the needles thing and two needles in, I was like, nah, fuck this. Then I should be able to say... No, stop. I don't want to go any further. And that's it. That's the end of it. It stops. It doesn't go That's any basic further. consent. As a matter of fact, um, this partner did two and then two more and then said, are you good? Can you go more? I said, I can do at least two more. And every two, every time he did a pair, he stopped and asked me if I wanted to continue. Why didn't you say no? Because I did she want wanted to continue. To continue. I did she stop. Did. I, when he got to the... The one on the right, I knew he still had to do the one on the left. That one hurt like a bitch, but my left side doesn't hurt as much. So um, I had him finish that one, and then that was it for me. I could, I, I probably could have gone all the way down, but I really needed to dial it back Next a time. This Next is the time. very first Goals. time it's been, so yeah. it's. I think it was great that it was as small as it was. Just so you could. It you, wasn't could, that small. Like, if it, it was, was only that the, small. It was only the top half of my back. I... I don't know. It seemed like a lot. This I is, also did not Irene, realize. She, she's already into this stuff. We yeah. already know this. So a little <laughs> tiny pinprick is nothing compared to the walloping I have seen her ass get. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Johnny. Are, are these needles like uh, acupuncture needles? 
needles? No, they're syringe needles. Oh, so okay. they're gauged. These okay. were, I think we used like a 25 gauge or something small on me. Very small, very thin. Like almost pediatric needles. They're not that small and thin. I used to have to do B12 shots and I had to do my own, which meant I closed my eyes and cried while my daughter did my shot. <laughs> Um, you sound like my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and that's not as small as you think, but that's okay. That's okay. It's all good. You enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. That's good. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's it was okay. a lot it's of fun. Good. I'm definitely going to do it again, probably with more complexity. Um, there's another person in town that does them, uh, but they do designs. Remember that Hello Kitty I showed you guys? That was done on the submissive of this parent, and that's actually what really drove me to really want to do this because she the woman who did that to her does all these crazy beautiful designs she did a wolf head on somebody once and i was like <gasps> i want to do that there's a lot of stuff i want to do but i need to build up to it i do know that it, it's something like that is very intricate it's many hours long it takes a lot of negotiation to get to that point so because our favorite tumbler is gone Right, our Tumblr. Tumblr's there, just the right. point is gone. As far as I'm concerned, Tumblr is dead to me. So what I did was, as much as I could, I downloaded a bunch of the pictures and, and the GIFs and the things like that. So now I have a folder. And if I ever decide to start dating again, I'm going to put that into a Google Drive folder. And share it. And share it with, so they'll know. Because that's how I tell people this is what I like. Right? Yeah. I'm just like, scroll my fet life scroll that shit yeah i don't know i i think i have an account there but i think i made it like years and years and yeah. years ago so I, but i don't know if i want to go on there and make it i think i i, I saying... love it just for perving like there's a ton of beautiful videos you have to pay or pictures you have to pay to see videos but um the photos are beautiful absolutely gorgeous i i want to i've always said i wanted to set up a fat life account but mine's basically gonna say please refer to sierra's account for things i don't want to do <laughs> Everything on and her account all... is what I won't do. For... And basically, it's just all the, the needle stuff. For like... those of you who don't know, can you explain what FetLife is? So FetLife is an online social media website for people who have fetishes, FetLife. Um, just go to FetLife.com and sign up. Right. Also, You'll Adult Friend Finder. Well, Adult Friend Finder is more of a dating site, and it it's is. not free. Fat life is free. Uh, to watch videos that people post, you do have to pay. There's a monthly fee, a yearly fee, and there's also a lifetime fee, like a one-time. That's it. That's when you're serious. You want. But just like Facebook, there are groups. Like if you're into mm -hmm. certain kind of fetish, there are groups that you can join and talk to other yep. people. There's local groups. There's events. Um, a lot of that's how I stay up on my fetish events or my kink events is through fet life although a lot of them post on facebook too so i, I don't know if you've ever seen me like like going to king social this wednesday that's sorry um <laughs> i try to keep that to fet life but sometimes it's not there sometimes it's on facebook like i think leather church is on facebook instead of it is. life yeah but uh yeah i enjoy it number one, i use fet life for two things events and keeping up with my friends and that's really it i hardly ever accept new friend requests um, and if i do it's from people i've met in person i probably only have a handful of people i've never met in person that i've actually accepted a friend request from but that's because we've had like we've liked each other's pictures or we've interacted through comments on something else it's usually we have to have some sort of interaction what happens when somebody from regular facebook makes an account on FetLife and discover you're there. That's cool. Do, do I, they, I will tell you. Do they you, friend you? Do you friend them back? It depends on who they are. So far, I will have to tell you that in real life, I have uh, mostly friends that I know for sure are kinky end up on there. But I have occasionally had people find out that I have a FetLife account and they're like, I'll add you on FetLife, but don't tell anybody what my what my profile is I don't want anybody to know and then I friend them and I know why they don't want anybody to know because now I see your list of fetishes and the kinks and the shit that you're into and the photos you post and the shit you've done and the comments you make and the writings you have and I'm like you are a dirty son of a bitch and I fucking love it <laughs> so I just remembered as we're talking because I've talked about setting up an account so many times before I remembered I actually did it once. Oh, you do, and you have me. And you're there. my only friend. <laughs> I'm your only friend. 
<laughs> so all and my you profile see... pic is actually a pic of my cat. You know what she's doing the rest of the night? She's going to go scroll. Look, and what way. you should do is scroll and see. No, I'm people. not going on. <laughs> oh, those are your pictures. No. Yeah, those are the ones that. So it's the other more. thing is the Dom is also a photographer and he did some glamour shots of me all done up. I did not realize how asymmetrical my back is. I had surgery that removed an organ, and it has now caused one side of my back to be vastly different from the other side. Like, I didn't realize how different they were. Most fat people, you see them, and you see their beautiful rolls, and they're wonderful and symmetrical, and they look like a fucking sculpture. I just look like a lump of fucking clay thrown on there. Oh, stop it. Your back is pretty. I even like the little scars that you have. I have a ton of scars. I love them. I'm very scarred. Apparently, I scarred well as a child, not so much as an adult. Well, now I'm excited for your future. Me too. Fishnets. And the kinkiness. Oh, yeah, that was from the red party. Hey, uh, for you guys in our Facebook feed, if you want to share any of your fetishes with us, doesn't have to be BDSM. No. Doesn't have to be any of that. If if you wear diapers, maybe. Yeah, fet life's not just about BDSM. It's about all fetishes and kinks. Just feet, so you all know. feet is huge. Feet, feet is, is huge really thing. huge. Feet is feet, a huge hands. Thing. I mean, you could be just into anything. And remember the alt sites back in the early '90s, the first like websites, the alternative lifestyle websites. They were called alt sites. In the early '90s. Yeah. I didn't even use a computer in the early. Like, we were just getting AOL in my house, then my mom had to dial up on our computer in the living room, and I go to log in, and it's all... Well, I found alt sites apparently in the early 90s when I was a teenager and cruising around the internet on the college campus. When those bitches had the very first T1 lines, and internet was fast. It was quick. <laughs> anyway. I, I was waiting for my AOL dial-up disc to come in the mail. <laughs> I've been a nerd forever. And apparently a kinky nerd forever. So what's next? Right now. What do you, in your agenda, in your bujo, what's next? Nothing. Do Nothing. you wait for your back to heal before you do it again? Like if he goes in again, does he go in the same holes, different holes? This was just Saturday. I, I saw it. I was there. Uh, not there, no. but I saw you after. You can't even see anything. Nope. Yeah. Can't see anything. Yeah. The holes are thin enough that... They heal up pretty quickly. The only ones that are still even sort of... They are actual holes, though. It's not like an acupuncture needle, right? Does an an acupuncture acupuncture needle needle leave a hole? Yeah. Really? Anytime you poke yourself, you leave a hole. They heal up super quick because they're super thin. You can't see them. This is where I had... You can only see the bruising where I may have pushed a little too hard. And then uh, there's a little bit of bruising on that one. But, I mean... I don't mark very well. So you don't I have anything don't planned upcoming? No, not yet. Not, not yet. But you, you're chomping at the bit to get something, to do something else. I'm always chomping at the bit to do something. We'll see how it goes. All right. How, uh, we'll see. Like I said, it's all, it's all got to be negotiated. I got to figure it out. What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Who do I want to do it with? I might, I might be giving up the finding a date on dating apps thing, but again, that's going to come down to the DTR conversation that we have. As long as you're getting fulfilled, like on a personal level, right? So, uh, I am emotionally fulfilled with all of you guys. Like, I'm not looking for a partner because I feel some sort of emotional gap. I would like to have someone that I can regularly fuck and go stargazing with and sometimes snuggle with. Not all the time, though. I'm not a big snuggler. Right now you have like four or five different people that can help fill those needs. Yeah. Because I'll without... snuggle with you if you want. Yeah, well, except the fucking regular thing. I've got to... I'll hang out with you from the other side of your bed. <laughs> You'll do what? <laughs> hang out from the other side of the bed. I'm not a snuggler. No. No? No. What about stargazing? Do you like doing no. that? Can, you can't do that part no, with No, I those? don't have the attention span to be able to gaze at a star for more than seven seconds. <laughs> Like, if the stars are doing tricks and it's a meteor shower and, you know, I don't know. The moon is, I don't know. Do you know what, what's the most awesome thing about the stargazing? It's the hanging out and the conversations yeah. with the people. Well, for me, it's the being outside part. Well, that too. And hanging out with people and the conversations. There's usually a couple of beers involved, sometimes a barbecue or... Or coffee. Coffee, whatever. <laughs> 
I thought I had that once and I did not. <laughs> Where do you find stars in Vegas? Like past the 45 minutes smog, north or south? Um, Indian silver. Springs. What's that silver state park thing? That big Springs Preserve? No, not that one. No, that's Springs not Preserve. Little... That's no, like no, in no, the middle of Smog Valley. No, it says. <laughs> like, Indian was... Springs. No, where where do they do the kilt festival? Oh, uh, Thule Springs, but that's in the city now too. Oh. So no, you got to go clear out to Indian Springs, or if you don't want to go quite that far, you can go to the Lee Canyon side of Mount Charleston. If you go to the Kyle Canyon side, it's still too close to the city, and there's not enough mountains between you and this city. I follow an astronomy group on Facebook, and one of these days I'm going to make it out to one of their events, but they're always packed because they invite the public out and the astronomers of the group set up their telescopes for the public right. to come look we through. did it at a red rock thing before yeah like up in red rock we went to one so of there those. there are places that are kind of close to town that you can go to because those guys go to them all the time and if anybody's going to know where to go it's those guys yeah i'll tell you so rule of thumb in vegas is if you want to see stars you got to drive 45 minutes at the very least from wherever you are 45 minutes and you'll see stars so your stargazing is my beach because the beach is the one place where i can just lay there and listen to the sounds of the water i could do that too. um and just i totally zone love the beach. for hours we upon should totally hours do a beach vacation hours. together we can do a weekend beach vacation it's only four hours go to five hours from here uh huntington beach is my favorite catalina Not island that far. no the catalina uh what's her name that does the Catalina thing. The Boobash. Oh, the Boobash. That's in San Diego. Is it their ocean near San Diego? Of course, but <laughs> Catalina is a little island. She calls that it. You take... She calls her thing something with the Catalina. Oh, oh, okay, I got you. The name of her group. <laughs> yeah. Got you, got you, got you. I thought you were thinking of the island. Like I took a cruise once and we stopped at Catalina for the day. What's her name? Um, uh, it's Kathy Edmondson. Yes. yes. And it is. It's the Boobash. It is in San Diego. It is in October. Um, it is right around our kids' birthday. <laughs> it always falls the same weekend always as the, the birthday same time. parties. Yeah, and it's—I want to say you're right. It's like Club Catalina. Club Catalina. That's, That's the name. Right. Of it. And she's Club asked Catalina. us many times about coming, and it always ends up being at that time. She should yeah. do a summer one that we can go to, maybe. There's already two big ass summer ones going. Oh, there's on. more than two big ass ones. We have our two big Vegas ones, and then there's uh, Beach. Dallas Fort Worth is going to be one of the huge ones this year, and then Dallas? Cocoa Beach. Yep, yeah. there's a DFW one. Um, I fucking love. I grew up in Dallas. I spent a, most of my childhood in Dallas. I, I grew up that. in Dallas too, just not Texas. Catalina is her name in Spanish. Oh. Oh, that oh, would yeah. Not Bree, okay. Bree, Bree knows the scoop. Way to go, Bree! And Thank all you, Bree. the people in the BBW community. So yeah, what's up for me next? I don't know yet. All right. Nothing right now. All right. What about you? What's going on with you? So I'm gonna share with you um, a message that I got, and then I, <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to talk about it for a okay, moment. Okay, we got 20 minutes. Or so. Well, I don't need that long because I also want to talk about the whole college scandal. <laughs> so. Which college scandal? Oh, I'll tell you all about it. It just happened today. So um, I'm a firm believer, and we've talked about it on this show before. I'm a firm believer like that we're all adults. If you look at somebody and you don't want to communicate with them, that's how it goes. If somebody looks at me and they don't say anything, or even if they, if I message them and they don't respond, like, that's it. No sweat off my back. I move yeah. on. We're adults. Period. But I had this gentleman who, um... Oh, is that plenty of fuck off and die? POF, so, POF. I just want to, I just want to share the beginning of one of his messages. And, um, basically he sent me a message and I didn't respond. I don't respond to them all. I just don't. And the reason I don't is because of this. <laughs> So, um, and just to share, I pulled up his profile and his very second photo was a meme about bitches. So I'm like, oh. he's probably not my type. Um, but he's like, it's a trip for you to be a big girl, read my message, look at my profile and not even say hello. Why are you on the internet acting funny? You wonder why it's hard to meet people? I don't think you talk, sweetheart. You just look at the pages 
And if there's not something there that catches your attention, you don't even reply to the message. Well, Isn't that how it's what are you on here for? What are you really looking for? So I'm just going to share my response and then have we'll discuss. And I wasn't going to grace it with one, but he he's right. And he acknowledges later, oh, I hit the button and I knew, you know, you'd respond to that. And, and he did. Um, and I said, thanks for reaching out and for the follow-up message. I'm not sure what being a big girl has to do with anything. We're both adults. We both have the ability to read a profile and choose not to contact or respond. That's how it works. In this case, I received your message, glanced at your profile, and my first impression was your meme about bitches. I realized this is supposed to get my panties nice and wet, but what can I say? Bitches be bitches. Um, I said, I'm not sure how that's considered on the internet and acting funny. Now a glance at my search history is a different story. But hey, whatever makes you feel better about the whole thing. Um, he then proceeded to, and again, I won't go into all of it, but... Holy shit, that's a lot. Yeah, no, no. He continued on, and that all he was trying to do, I was, you know, I was going at him and uh, acting, you know, acting up and everything. You, he, he said you were acting up. Yeah, I was acting up, and the only reason, all I read was the being big, and then that got the response, and I didn't read any of the rest of his message. He said, if you did, you would see that I was trying to alert you to the fact that someone's using your profile picture and sending a link to try and get me to click on it. No, and I'm you like, didn't mention that at all. You dude. didn't mention it. Not at all. Not, I don't even know what you're talking about. And then he just, that's, it, it's more than, uh, is what? worth my energy. But bottom line, if you do get a request and it includes a link, I probably wouldn't click it. Yeah. That's all. Uh, I've had a couple of conversations like that where guys like me and I view their profile and then I don't respond or like them back or send them a message or reply. And then they're like, what, what, you too good for me? And I'm like, mm, yeah. I had one guy. <laughs> yeah. So, so on FetLife, you can just send random people messages. And I get it so much more regularly than I should, especially since the top red letters in my profile very clearly in point twenty four font say I am not looking for a relationship from this website fuckboys need not apply or message period like not interested and a guy sends me a message and was like oh I just want to talk about our future and I'm like what possible future could we have to talk about well me and you I'm like there's not gonna be a me and you and he's like well he's like I'm good enough for you and I'm like I said OMG I period am period not period interested period. I think just the statement that I'm good enough for you is enough to turn anybody off. Right. My panty flow Here. stopped. Here it is. At the end of the day, as people who are actively dating as adults, that's what we are. We're all adults. Nobody owes you shit. Nobody owes you. Oh, are we done? No, it's trying to reconnect. It lost the internet for a second. Oh. But it reconnected. Nobody owes you shit. Nobody owes you. Is it polite to respond to all of your messages? Absolutely. But after a while, as we've discussed on here, you well, don't Toxie, jump to respond because... Toxie also gets a lot more messages than I do, apparently. I get like one a month, maybe. I was, maybe. <clears throat> I was just watching. Uh, I'm a big fan of The Daily Show. I'm in, totally in love with Trevor. Trevor and uh, he just he just put out this video. I just watched it the other day about rejection rage. Have you ever? Well, mm -hmm. it's not. His video wasn't about that. But that's what I've coined it. It's the rage people get when they're being rejected. Right. Right. Or not talked to or whatever. And I have the exact he was actually talking about when uh, Tommy Lair... The, is that her name? Tommy Lee Harry. Uh, Tommy Lee she Harry. came on to the show and was interviewed on The Daily Show, and then she was getting hate mail and death threats from fucking liberals, right? And then people on the right were sending her hate mail and death threats for going on to a liberal show. Right, right. And he says, and it, it wasn't just like, you know, you're stupid or whatever. Uh, they called her a bitch, white trash, a whore, all kinds of... I'm gonna rape you. Mis misogyny. Right. I hope you get raped and die mm -hmm. in a gut in a gully or whatever. And it's he says you can't be liberal and uh, non misogynistic to the people that you like 
and not to the people that you don't like. I mean, it doesn't work that way because but that it shows your total character. Right, but it does because lit- literally, literally so many people are one way in person and another way on the internet. Right, that's like true. They, they that's are, true. their whole goal in life is to become a famous internet troll, even though they could be the nicest, sweetest person you've ever met. If you see some of your friends' comments on things, and a lot of the times, though, they have anonymous accounts that they use it's not their regular but it wasn't even uh, he even gave the uh example of um there's a there you know just a regular old everyday guy who's always you know fighting for the rights of others and the oppressed and the poor and the and um, then call some girl a fucking cunt ass bitch because she's on some show he he watches or starts cursing them out with all the uh uh, inflammatory because the person was black and starts using racist slurs yeah. and then and then say oh, oh sh- I'm not I'm not racist I'm not racist but sh- they got me so mad that's not an excuse just because you got mad is not an excuse to no be no racism ass. is never acceptable <laughs> I don't care how pissed the fuck off you are an asshole's an asshole and it doesn't matter the color of skin around it uh and you should you should tie that right into misogyny as well all yeah none of that shit is available yeah. or acceptable listen no one likes rejection i no. mean i get rejection the- depression <laughs> that's my thing they're like no i'm not interested most of the time they don't tell me they're interested they just read my thing and then they move on and then i'm like well, they didn't like me and then i'm depressed for a couple of days because some fucking rando dude that I probably normally honestly wouldn't have talked to in real life, but I <laughs> messaged him anyway on the dating app because I was like, well, I can lower that standard one score. And uh, But he didn't reply. And I'm like, I'm not pretty enough for the but you would guy. never, you would never say something like that. No, I would not And respond. so the opposite is, is that, I don't know, for some reason, I mean, maybe women do it to guys too on dating oh, yeah. sites. I'm oh, yeah, sure. women are just as bad. I'm oh, sure. I'm sure they are. But I would never imagine saying to a guy like, Oh my God, why did you look at my profile and you didn't respond? How dare you not even give me the courtesy of saying something after looking at my profile? I don't have time for that shit. Like, why? I'm too know. busy messaging 50 guys a month who don't reply to I'm me. I'm going to tell you, back in the day when MySpace switched over to Facebook, that was one of the draws of Facebook. Was that Because on MySpace, if you went to look at somebody's profile, it alerted you that somebody looked at your profile. On Facebook, it does not do that. Well, then they show up in your people you may know. Yeah. I'm pretty yeah, sure that's but... how the people you may know shit is populated. Because it would be like, there would be people I've never seen before in my life. And then we have three friends in common and suddenly they're at the top of that list. And I'm yeah. like. No, I have. Hmm. I have. Um, I, I've kind of talked about it on here before where I did the 23 and Me, And I found this whole. I never knew my birth father and, and the family. And I ended up starting talking to some. Well, my birth father's dead. But his wife all of a sudden started popping up on my people you may know and I'm like oh fuck like I don't want to deal with her (laughs) so (laughs) I I know that it's usually when I make a new friend with someone it's their friends that show up it's not no no that that happens too they're not all oh they're not sometimes when I add a new contact into my phone suddenly it's like hey this person you know in business should be on your Facebook page and I'm like no they should not yeah that happens too like there's a lot of different algorithms I got a LinkedIn profile sometimes (laughs) sometimes it happens, you know, sometimes. So, yeah. No, I'm pretty I have sure. someone I totally stalk on Facebook, and this person's well aware I stalk them on Facebook, but they always come up daily, and people you may know. <laughs> so, you know, I always screenshot and send them, like, see, we really should be Facebook friends. <laughs> Jasper wants to know what type of rejection is when they talk to you online, they give you every compliment in the book, but then when you see them in public, they're as silent as a church mouse and a boy do you all together and avoid you all together um that i get that a lot where they're very complimentary in the chat and then we show up on a date and then you see that like oh you're not as pretty in picture in person as i thought you'd be as i photograph fairly well you do. with the right angles and some makeup and lighting uh, and so that's Whatever. what all of my pictures are. But then you see me in person, and I'm like, ah, how's it going? <laughs> and it's not the same person. I love when she snores. Right? I always throw one of those really bad makeupless ones on at the end of my profile. Almost all of my photos I, are without makeup. Yeah, like I make sure, like, I throw some of those in there, and I'm like, here's worst case scenario. I'm like, thinking about, you know that terrible <laughs> angle selfie you take to send yeah, your yeah, friends yeah. just to be like, look at how awful this yeah, is? Like, yeah. You dumb. take it from below and it's <laughs> up. And yeah. You're like, and you're like <coughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Like you yeah. do one of those. I'm thinking about making that 
my profile picture on all the dating <laughs> sites. And then I if was, guys respond or message me, then I know we're on a, onto something. I was on this um, one site, and I put these pictures on, and my friend's like, no, you need, like, worse pictures. And I'm like, okay. And I put some worse pictures on. She's like, no, worse pictures. Like, where's your bad angle photos? Like, those are the ones these guys want to see. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed your time with us. Um, I'm Alexia. Toxie. Sierra. And we will see you next week. <laughs> if you're brave enough. Later, bitches. You have to be super brave for this show tonight. <laughs>